you know. Uh-huh. It's like a reward. Whereas physiologically, Jonathan tends to be very like, you know, um antsy at, and as yeah. you said yeah. restless yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and so just you know n- not even making a judgment on whether you know i think that in america or in maybe a lot of so- society that um you know work is cherished and rest is kind of maybe you get a guilt trip we'll about down it on a bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um but you know just like looking at it from a from a pure physical place and what we you know gravitate towards and h- how does the chemical makeup of our body go or i tend to be more flexible jonathan tends to be more bound muscular tr- muscularly mm-hmm. and like just like what kind of you know what does that make in our movement even hmm. and how do we you know and what does that what does that make in your movement what do you find f- well that's happening? been interesting i mean julia talked a little bit about her uh, background physically and I actually got into movement before dance through gymnastics out in the burbs uh-huh. um, so I have a gymnastics background and then I got really involved in capoeira which is a you know African Brazilian dance martial art form uh, and that was a really nice segue for me from gymnastics into dance because um, it has a lot Excellent, of aspects of dance but I again it's think. very you know it's very athletic it's very um, active there's a lot of uh you know flipping around and s- inversions standing on your head standing on your hands uh-huh. so i tend to come to movement with um with a lot of floor work with a lot of kind of throwing myself around and actually i mean both of us have a lot of um we love really highly kinetic dance i yeah. think that's one of our commonalities yeah. mm-hmm. you know some people come from dance from a more imagistic point of view or a more kind of dramatic point of view or um you know, crafting things, more heady dance or whatever. And I think both of us really have a commonality with just really liking kinetic exploration of physics and momentum and um, big movement. <laughs> yeah. Well, first, uh, I want to congratulate you because it, it's, it takes a lot of work. It's, I mean, being a musician is hard enough to get, get work, to get your yeah. work heard and performed, et cetera. But being a dancer, uh, yeah. it's got to be. It's got to be. You, you can't sell realms, anything. <laughs> realms deeper, yeah. uh, difficult to uh, to get done. And yeah. you just said you can't yeah. sell yeah. anything. Nobody's gonna buy the DVD of the dance and flip it on during a party and be like, "Woo, guys, check this new thing out!" No. I should think with the new technologies, though. Um, you, if have you have you taped your performances? Yeah, I mean we have some clips on the website that you know if you so want to check out. So you put them out, on yeah. on the TV screen yeah. and you have Joe's music <laughs> and <laughs> and you party. And people are like, whoa, whoa, look at that, <laughs> whoa. Yeah. But it really, you know, it really reads as a, as a live performance form. Yeah. yeah. And you know the documentation is great for a lot of purposes, but it's it's getting people to the show. That's, that's the, true. the bottom line. Yeah. Then, yeah. And so how 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 have you found that? Getting Mixed, people there up and down, yeah, getting an audience. Well, you know, last audience. last show we had a big Rogers Park um, group show up, which is awesome. A contingent. It, it was amazing. Just to, you know, down in we're down in Wicker Park, and Rogers Park just like flooded in the door. Came like, on yeah. down. Fire and out. we've yeah. sort of, you know, we've we've rethought a little bit how we want to present stuff. I mean, that that show that we did down in, in uh, Wicker Park was really fun because we were at an art gallery. It wasn't mm-hmm. a theater. Um, we had. Uh, you know, hors d'oeuvres for people, and people were sort of free to mill about. We only had, it, it was more kind of like the feel of wandering through an art gallery while watching a show uh-huh. versus kind of sitting mm-hmm. down in a theater waiting for things yeah, to, you could grab to a present drink themselves and to you. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we're sort of, um, even though Lynx is more of a theater venue, we're right. approaching it similarly and kind of reshaping the space in a way that it can, can have that kind of feel. Yeah. So we should talk about what we're um, what we're talking about. Um, it's a show that's happening next weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's give folks the details. Um, December fifth through seventh. Mm-hmm. So that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Right. Three nights. Okay. And the Friday and Saturday shows start at eight p.m. Sunday night at seven p.m. Uh huh. Um, we don't mention the entry fee on the radio. Um, just to say there is one and. If people wanted information or more information about this, where would we send them? Well, there's the website, uh, www.ketchery.org. That's uh, K-H-E-C-A-R-I dot O-R-G. Mm-hmm. And there's also a link on the website under the events to Lynx Hall's website, which you can get tickets online. Um, mm-hmm. And that's another great resource, the Lynx Hall website. Right, lynxhall.org. And uh, their phone call, their phone number is uh, 281-0824, according to the card. And we have um, been 
passing out these cards at the cafe for a while, at least uh, that I've noticed. So if you need more information, there's someone at the Heartland a lot that can help you find the card or lead you to Joe St. Charles, who can also help you um, get you there. And next weekend being December 5th, 6th, and 7th, those are the dates of the performance. Um, I like the whole idea of juxtaposing the inertia of rebellion and rest in a work about change and hammering toward ease. Mm -hmm. Those are your words, and um, that's, that's really good wording. It really allows for a lot. And in a work about change, we're all about change always. But, of course, at this point in time with a president-elect called Barack Obama, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're way, way into change. And I, it's going to be a theme of mine, um, questioning uh, both guests and our audiences out there, the listening audience, to um, rise to the occasion, figure out what it is they can do to aim the change in the direction it should happen in our lives so if you haven't seen uh, dance theater f dance performances ever or for a long time this is probably a good time to make a change in your life yeah come and, on, see it. <laughs> and go to a really great great community uh, place Lynx Hall if you've never been there it's it's completely accessible right there at uh, um, Newport and Clark Street and Sheffield mm -hmm. um, Yes, there is Hamburger King below, and a few other, quite a few other bars right around. It's just two blocks from uh, Wrigley Field, uh -huh. so it's uh, e easily accessible by public trans. And for all of us up north, in this neck of the woods, it's not that long of a bike ride either. And you two both arrived on bikes today. We yes, sure did. did. You're so good. <laughs> it's a little and chilly out there, but <laughs> <laughs> <you're> not here. <laughs> I know. It, it gets more challenging, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. It does. I know. I'm, I, someone took my bike seat, so I'm doing a lot oh of car no. driving. Oh, no. I know. That's <laughs> too bad. Uh, but we'll... Um, I want to thank you both for being on the show. Thanks for, well, having, thanks for us. having us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad that... It's a pleasure. Yeah, and... Best of luck on next weekend's performances. Thanks so much. I certainly hope we'll have as big or bigger a uh, Rogers Park contingent um, cheering you on again. And I think, speaking of that, we should play um, on our way out of this segment, we should play uh, another cut of Joe's music. Yeah, sounds good. Absolutely. Um, so, um, once again, Ketchery at Lynx Hall next weekend. Dance with... Um, Great shot of you on this. Whose foot is that? Whose hand is that? That's Jonathan's <laughs> hand, and that <laughs> photo is actually taken by Dan Merlo. Okay, yeah. that's really great. Um, all right, you guys, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks thank for you. Us. All right, bye. <laughs>